Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes U.S. delegation arrives in Taiwan to meet Tsai, other officials. Taiwan's Tsai Ing-wen leaves tough legacy for President-elect William Lai. Chinese spy was set to get UK visa before being deported, says whistleblower. China's Qinghai has ocean of solar power, but no storage. China developer Logan may face liquidation petition from banks. U.S. delegation arrives in Taiwan to meet Tsai, other officials. Bloomberg. A group of former U.S. officials, including former National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley and ex-Deputy Secretary of State James Steinberg, arrived in Taiwan to meet with outgoing President Tsai Ing-wen. The talks will test the recent improvement of ties between Washington and Beijing following Taiwan's recent election. The delegation is likely to also meet Vice President Lai ching tae who is considered a separatist by Beijing. China and the US are already bickering over the election results, with China lodging a diplomatic complaint with the US over comments made by Secretary of State Antony Blinken. President Joe Biden has reiterated the US stance that it does not support independence for Taiwan. Taiwan's Tsai Ing-wen leaves tough legacy for President-elect William Lai. South China Morning Post Taiwan's outgoing president Tsai Ing-wen will leave a difficult legacy for her successor William Lai ching tae as the island is considered one of the world's most dangerous flashpoints for conflict, according to observers. Tsai's handling of cross-strait relations has been the primary source of the risk of conflict, as tensions have continued to rise during her presidency. When she took office in 2016, Tsai dropped her predecessor's engagement policy towards Beijing and refused to accept the 1992 consensus, leading to Beijing suspending official talks and exchanges. Tsai's pro-independence stance has led to increased military operations by Beijing around Taiwan, which sees the island as part of China to be reunited by force if necessary. Lai, who was elected president in Saturday's poll, will face challenges in managing the predicament. His pro-independent stance may test his ability to ease cross-strait tensions and manage relations with Beijing. Lai will also have to address the island's economic relations with Beijing, which have been hampered by Tsai's new southbound policy. Chinese spy was set to get UK visa before being deported, says whistleblower. Bloomberg. A compliance officer at a closed London brokerage has claimed he was ordered to obtain a visa for an employee who later turned out to be a Chinese spy. The allegations were detailed in a whistleblower suit brought by Bharat Bargani, who said he was fired for blocking the appointment of two directors. Bargani also claimed to have made complaints to the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, regarding money laundering suspicions. A tribunal ruling found that Bargani had been given the information by UK authorities and that it was reasonable for him to believe it. Golden Way Global Investments, the brokerage in question, has since closed its licensed business and changed its name to Leading Globe Technology. China's Qinghai has ocean of solar power, but no storage. Nikkei Asia China's Qinghai province, home to the world's largest photovoltaic power park, is facing an imbalance between electricity supply and demand due to a lack of investment in complementary power storage facilities. The province has an excess of power during the day but faces severe shortages at night particularly during cold winter evenings when heating demand spikes. Qinghai has become a leading light in China's green energy policy, with solar, wind, and hydropower accounting for over 90% of the province's total installed capacity. However, the rapid increase in power generation has outpaced the development of power storage, resulting in curtailment of solar power and the need to buy electricity from other provinces at a higher cost. In response, experts have suggested reining in the pace of green energy development and focusing more on energy storage and backup power supplies. Qinghai is considering building more pumped storage for hydropower and exploring electrochemical energy storage methods. The province is also looking to export excess power to other provinces through ultra-high voltage power transmission lines. However, multiple large solar power projects are still being connected to the oversupplied grid, leading to concerns about energy and investment waste. China developer Logan may face liquidation petition from banks. Bloomberg. 
Logan Group Company's bank creditors may ask a Hong Kong court to liquidate two key units of the Chinese developer, replacing a group of dollar bondholders who seek to drop the case, dealing a fresh setback for the distressed firm. The bank's lawyer said Logan hasn't provided information requested. Baidu dives most since 2022 after report links AI to China's PLA. Bloomberg Baidu's stock fell over 10% after a report suggested its Ernie AI platform had been linked to Chinese military research on artificial intelligence, AI. The report by the South China Morning Post stated that the People's Liberation Army's strategic support force had established a physical link with Baidu's Ernie, raising concerns that the US may impose sanctions on the company. However, it is unclear what this alleged link entails, and Baidu has not provided any comment on the matter. Baidu's Ernie platform, which debuted in 2023, has gained popularity and amassed 70 million users within three months of its release. Foreigners sell China stocks in 2024 as economic woes worsen. Bloomberg Overseas investors have resumed selling China onshore equities in the new year due to pessimism over the country's sluggish economic recovery. Global funds offloaded 7.9 billion yuan, $1.1 billion, of stocks in the first two weeks of 2024, following large purchases in the final week of last year. Deflationary pressures and underwhelming policy support have contributed to the downbeat sentiment. Chinese equities had their worst start to a year since 2019 and are trading near their lowest level in nearly five years. This selling comes after foreigners had their smallest ever annual purchases of onshore stocks in 2023, and January is on track for a sixth consecutive month of outflows. Wall Street banks are trying not to upset China on listings. Financial Times Wall Street's biggest banks are being more careful not to upset Beijing in the prospectus documents for overseas IPOs of Chinese companies, following new regulations introduced by Beijing last year. The changes mean that banks are toning down their language when warning investors about risks associated with China. The shift in tone has raised concerns about Hong Kong's status as an international financial center, with some questioning whether U.S. firms can still put together prospectus filings without risking disparaging China. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your guide to the fascinating world of six degrees. Today, we have covered a range of news stories, from U.S. officials visiting Taiwan to the challenging legacy left by Taiwan's outgoing president Tsai Ing-wen. We also discussed the case of a Chinese spy who was set to get a UK visa, the imbalance in power supply and demand in China's Qinghai province, the potential liquidation of Chinese developer Logan Group, the alleged link between Baidu's AI platform and China's military, the selling of China stocks by foreign investors, and the cautious approach of Wall Street banks in IPO prospectus filings. Now, let's dive into some analysis. The visit of the US delegation to Taiwan is a significant development that will test the improving ties between Washington and Beijing. China has already expressed its displeasure over the US comments on Taiwan's election results. The issue of Taiwan's independence remains a sensitive one, and it is crucial for both the US and China to navigate this delicate situation carefully. President Tsai Ing-wen's pro-independent stance has been a major factor in the rising tensions between Taiwan and China. Her successor, President-elect William Lai ching tee will face the challenge of managing cross-strait relations and finding ways to ease tensions with Beijing. Economic relations with China have also been strained, and Lai will need to address this issue as well. In another story, the allegations of a Chinese spy obtaining a UK visa highlight the ongoing concerns about espionage and national security. This case raises questions about the effectiveness of visa screening processes and the need for stronger measures to prevent such incidents in the future. The power supply and demand imbalance in China's Qinghai province is a reminder of the challenges of transitioning to renewable energy sources. While Qinghai has made significant progress in green energy development, the lack of investment in power storage facilities has created issues during peak demand periods. This highlights the importance of not only increasing renewable energy generation but also investing in energy storage technologies. The potential liquidation of Logan Group and the decline in Baidu's stock price demonstrate the challenges faced by Chinese companies in the current economic climate. 
economic woes and policy uncertainties have led to foreign investors selling China stocks and a decline in investor confidence. Lastly, the cautious approach of Wall Street banks in IPO prospectus filings reflects the changing regulatory environment in China. The new regulations introduced by Beijing have prompted banks to be more careful in their language when discussing risks associated with Chinese companies. This raises concerns about the freedom of expression and the future of Hong Kong as an international financial center. In conclusion, these stories highlight the complex dynamics and challenges facing the US, China, and other countries in the region. The issues of Taiwan's independence, national security, renewable energy, economic stability, and freedom of expression are all crucial and require careful consideration. As always, I encourage you, my dear viewers, to share your thoughts and questions. What are your perspectives on these matters? Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.